boys and girls, and welcome to Brain Bank. My name is Melanie, and I'll be your teacher for today. Now, in today's lesson, we're going to read a very fun storybook called Getting There. Getting There. And this book is by Edwin Johns. He is the author of the book Getting There. Now, when we want to get from here to there, we need to use something to help us. We can use all of these things to help us travel. So what do we call this up here? Yes, very good. This is an airplane. Very good, that's an airplane. What about this? This is very good. I heard somebody say train. That is a train. What about this down here? I bet everybody knows what that is. Yes, I heard somebody say boat. That's a boat. And what about this? This is a tricky one. Maybe you've never seen this or rode in this before. Yes, this is called a monorail. A monorail. It kind of looks like a train, but it runs on this track, which is usually high up in the air. And the word mono means one. So it runs on only one rail. A train usually has two rails. A monorail just has one rail. Very good. So in this slide, getting there. This is another way we can get from here to there. We don't have to use vehicles. We don't have to use an airplane or a train or a boat. We can use our own two legs. We can go walk or walking. We can walk to get from here to there. Very good. So this looks like maybe a teacher and some students or maybe even a mother and her children and they're holding hands and they are walking through the park or walking through the forest. Very good. Ah, here it looks like we have a father and maybe his son and they are using a different way to travel. What do we call these? Yes, very good. Those are called bicycles or for short we can just say bike. This is a bike. They are riding their bi bicycles or riding a bike. Very good. So let's see. Ah, some people get there by bike. Some people get there by bike. Very good. So they are riding their bikes. Ah, this is a very common way that children get to school. Who knows what this is called? Yes, this is a bus. And usually, if it's yellow and you see many children, it is a school bus. This is a school bus. So, some people get there by bus. Some people get there by bus. This girl, it looks like she will ride her bicycle or ride her bike to school, but the rest of the kids, they will probably take the bus to go to school. Okay, oh, this is different. We can use animals to help us travel. Animals, not just cars and planes, not just bikes or buses. We can also use animals. And what animal is that? Very good. This is a horse. A horse. And horses allow us to get from here to there. We can ride a horse. So, some people get there by horse. Let's read it all together, shall we? Some people get there by horse. So here we have some people riding their horses. And 
What are they wearing on their heads? What are those called? Yes, those are called helmets. Helmets. We wear a helmet on our head to protect it. If these people fall off the horse, they will still be okay. Okay, this is another kind of animal that people can ride. Kind of looks like a horse, but it's not a horse. Does anyone know what we call this animal? I heard somebody say it. Yes, this is a camel. A camel. We can ride camels to get from here to there. And camels, we can't really see in this picture because there are many things on the camel's back, but camels have humps on their back. That's how we can know it's a camel. And these people, it looks like they are riding camels through maybe a desert or a beach. Uh, camels, do camels live in Korea? No, camels don't live here, but camels like to live where it's really warm. They like to live in deserts. So, some people get there by camel. If they live in a desert, maybe they need to use a camel. So, once again, some people get there by camel. Very good. Ah, everybody knows what this vehicle is. We probably use this almost every day, if not every day. This is a oh, car. A car. Some people get there by car. Does your family have a car? Yes, some people do, some people don't. If you live in a city, you might not need a car, but some people have cars and they get from here to there in their car. And this little girl, it looks like their car is higher up off the ground, so maybe her mom is helping her get down from the car. Okay, does anyone know what this is called? It's not a plane, but it does fly in the sky. Yes, this is called a helicopter. It's a long word. Can you say it with me? Helicopter. Helicopter. Very good. Some people get there by helicopter. If they want to go in the air, but not too far, they don't need a plane, they can just take a helicopter. And helicopters also can go above mountains. You can get a very nice view from a helicopter. Very good. Now, what is this? I think a lot of people know what this one is. This is called a train. We talked about, well, we talked about that. On the first page, there was a train on the cover. Do you remember? Yes. So, some people get there by train. Let's read it all together, shall we? Some people get there by train. Very good. Ah, and also we had this on the cover too. This is a boat. Some people get there by boat. Some people get there by boat. All together, some people get there by boat. This is a very large boat, and I see some cars on this boat. I think this boat is used to take cars from one place to another. Okay, so here we have many different things that we didn't talk about yet. These are all ways that we can travel or get from here to there. So. All over the world, people get from place to place. Let's read that all together, shall we? All over the world, people get from place to place. Yes, they do. And they use many different things to get there. So let's name some of these things, shall we? We have a boat, or we could even call that a canoe or a kayak or a pedal boat. It has many names. It looks like a family is enjoying themselves there. We have streetcars. Some cities have streetcars. They are older, kind of look like trains, but 
They go on the street. They run on electricity. They have a cable that comes out the top and it connects to a wire and that is how they run. Streetcars, we have a balloon or a hot air balloon. Those are very beautiful, don't you think? So many colors. And a cab, or maybe you call it a taxi. We can also call this a taxi. We can even call it a taxi cab. Some people use both names together. So, and this looks like I see some American flags, so we can guess that maybe this is in New York City or a big city in America. Okay. And finally, we have an index. Does anyone know what we use an index for? Yes, an index is usually found at the back of a book. And if we want to remember or find something particular in the book that we just read, we can flip to the index and we can see a list of all different things that were in the book. And then we can go over and see what do you think these numbers are? Yes, those numbers are page numbers. Those are page numbers. So here we see what we want to find. And then we just go over and we find what page it's on. So it's very convenient to help us go through a book. So let me quiz you really quick. If I want to find a camel. What page? Camel? Ah, page five. I found it. What about if I want to find a picture of a helicopter? <gasps> page seven. Very good. You know how to use an index. So the next time you read a book, look for an index in your book you will know how to use it. So that's all we have today, boys and girls, but I will see you next time soon. Bye-bye.